It's not unusual for disputes to break out in Hong Kong's Legislative Council, but they have become more frequent and heated in recent years as the divide widens between pro-Beijing and pro-democracy legislators. After 16 weeks of deadlock debates on who should control an important House committee, a session on May 8 descended into a brawl. Some lawmakers were disruptive. They were running towards the security guards who were trying to maintain order in front of the chairperson's table so the conference could not be held, and some were throwing papers from the public seats above. Five months later, police arrested seven politicians, four of them current legislators, on charges of contempt and interfering with members of the city's legislative council. We will not give in to these absurd charges and continue to serve in a legislative council that has no justice. We do our best to express the people's voice and especially our dissatisfaction with the government. They say this is just another step in the government's efforts to crack down on dissent and crush political freedoms. Since the last Legislative Council elections in 2016, the number of sitting pro-democracy lawmakers has dropped nearly 30 percent because of resignations or disqualifications. It's seen as a result of Beijing's tightening control of the city. In July, the communist government imposed a national security law in Hong Kong similar to the one used in mainland China to silence opposition. In recent months, Chinese agencies have been weighing in on how the Legislative Council conducts its affairs. They made clear that tactics such as stalling the passage of bills and obstructing meetings could be in breach of legislators' oaths and could even amount to misconduct in public office. It's what's believed to have prompted these latest arrests. The law that they use is a law to protect the members' privilege and power to speak within the council. Now they have weaponized the law. The arrested politicians could face up to a year in prison if convicted. And police say they have not ruled out making more arrests. Divi Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.